I've been keeping up with this um this off season pertaining to my team, man. You know, so I see on um, these videos a lot from this channel because I gotta stay up to date, man, and what we trying to do and what moves we we want to make or will potentially make. I'm gonna say Patriots interested in trading for veteran receipt. T Higgins a brand and I I don't know if we gonna get. I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna play out. If we if we get one of those players, man, because they are both. <clears throat> They both pretty much uh, wide receiver one. So a lot of rumors surrounding New England Patriots, whether it be in free agency, the NFL draft, and now we go to the trade market. As there is a report circulating online that the New England Patriots and Elliot Wolf are interested in trading for a veteran wide receiver. That is music to my ears. It should be music to your ears as well. As the number one yeah, need outside of quarterback happen, I'm not is finding my whole that like wide that, receiver one. And there are two guys that come to mind in the trade market. Before we dive into that, though, make sure you have joined the channel and have hit that sub button. And you're going to get the latest surrounding the New England Patriots, whether it be rumors, draft coverage, draft news. We'll have it all. But we also trail the Broncos breakdown by about 50 subscribers. That can't happen. We have about... 12, 13 days left in March. Make sure you hit the sub button up, to get up to date on everything surrounding the Patriots, but also beat those to nasty too. Denver Broncos <laughs> in our March sub battle. All right, the report came nah, from Adam real, Kaplan, stop, and he had this it's exact keep it going. quote today keep, in an keep article it going. that said a league source <clears throat> with knowledge of the situation <clears throat> said the Patriots have looked into the trade this, market be for other veterans really at that position in referring to to the wide receiver position. And go when for you any see other veteran things, wide receivers things you available want to, do like trade, to like. that makes sense for Sky's New England, limit, at huh? least. There are only two guys that come to mind. Sure, there's other wide receivers out there you could have via trade, maybe a Cortland Sutton. But <clears> to fit the New England Patriots' biggest need, which is to be that dynamic wide receiver one to potentially help a rookie quarterback, the only right, two we, guys we, that come we, to mind are boring, Brandon Ayuk, the San Francisco 49ers wide receiver, is and T. Higgins, the Cincinnati Bengals wide receiver. And I got to be honest, I think there's a chance each of these two guys in a trade could happen for the New England Patriots. There's reasons why I believe both guys could be dealt this offseason, if we're being completely honest. And both of them make a lot of sense for New England, and they have that perfect pick just in the early second round, 34 to be um, the – I just completely spaced on the word, whatever. Keep on going. 34, to be exact, that was the word. We got there. We, that's all that mattered. And those picks could be used to get one of these elite wide receivers. And let's start with Brandon Ayuk in the case for the former first round pick out of Arizona. Y'all seen Brandon Ayuk well, he has play, one man? Year left on his rookie no, field. Good he is. The 49ers did pick up his fifth year option prior to this last season. He's looking for a massive payday from the 49ers. And there are rumors already circulating that the Jacksonville Jaguars and Pittsburgh Steelers have checked in with John Lynch and the 49ers organization on a potential IU trade. And he has just been downright terrific in his first four seasons in the NFL, getting better every single year and i'm in the business of acquiring players that are ascending and getting better every single year you see his first four seasons uh, in the nfl 17, on screen right 17, now what is one common theme you can see every single year oh yeah it's his receiving yards going up starting mm -hmm. with 750 then 830 then hitting the 1K mark just barely. And then this year, really taking that next step to where he was one of the top 10 receivers in all football and was the go-to guy for Brock Purdy, overtaking Debo Samuel as the number one wide receiver in San Francisco. 1342 on the air for Ayuk, averaging no, no, 18 good yards Debo per is. catch and seven tutties. Ayuk is the total package, and we'll talk more about T. Higgins in just a second, but if you compare the two wide receivers, and if their costs were very, very similar, I would lean Brandon Ayuk, but the reason why is because he is so dynamic with his route running. 
He is a better route runner than T. Higgins. That is an absolute fact. No disrespect to T. He's a fantastic wide receiver. But Ayuk is better with the ball in his hands. He's better running routes over the middle of the field in the intermediate mm. range. I'll give T. Higgins this. He is a yeah. far better contested catch guy and a red zone threat. He is just a big body down in the red zone mm. that would help any rookie quarterback. But if you're looking Thanks. for a complete wide receiver, Brandon Ayuk is that guy that could fill that wide receiver one role for the New England Patriots. And the Patriots, in my opinion, absolutely need to fill that wide receiver one role. So do you believe what I'm putting out there? And do you agree need with to, but Do the Patriots need to trade Higgins for a wide receiver? Uh, type Y for yes, Ayuk, type then. N for no. I'm typing my Y so much, more. the Y keyboard might be broken at this point. He's but you come, look at the Patriots come back wide receiver better. depth chart and why I believe it is such a key for New England to acquire this guy is, well, Kendrick Bourne is your wide receiver one on paper right We can right get now. rid of Smith Schuster. I mean, I love Kendrick. He brings fantastic energy to the organization and the locker room, and he's been solid for the Patriots in the past, but he's coming off a torn ACL, and he's just not a wide receiver one. I'm sliding K.J. Osborne yeah, in is, as wide receiver, injured, wide receiver two. Excuse me. I think he's going to bring a very good – Ability to he's New England re- to come on, no, he, the field he's working and be a on deep it, threat. And then I'm I've got either. this second-year guy, Demario <sighs> Douglas, at that slot position. I expect Juju Smith-Schuster to be off the roster by the start of the season in September. I believe he will be traded. So you move all these guys back. So you like and imagine this. Like Kendrick at wide receiver, receiver two, Douglas still working in the slot. Better in the KJ night, man. That third wide receiver outside. I would prefer a better wide receiver, man. Higgins or Brand Ayuk at wide receiver one. Get them. And this wide receiver room becomes get very, one. very dangerous, which is why I think New England should absolutely explore a trade for either Ayuk or T. Higgins. And the deal that comes to mind if New England wanted to get something done with San Francisco and acquire Ayuk would be this. You'd clearly have to send the 34th overall pick in this year's draft in the second round. And the good news for you, Patriots fans, is that 34th overall pick is essentially viewed as a first rounder. I mean, it's just two slots off of the final pick of the first round. The only downside of that pick in comparison to a first round pick is that you don't get that fifth year option that you could a tag to players like the 49ers did with Brandon Ayuk. So to make up for that, you trade 34, but also a sixth round pick, 180th overall, in my opinion, mm. because you have two sixth rounders thanks to the Mac Jones trade with the Jaguars, where that is at pick 192. You trade your other sixth round pick alongside the 34th overall pick to get Brandon Ayuk. If this is going to be potentially accepted by San Francisco, <laughs> New England should go all in and send this offer for Brandon Ayuk. More to get to with T. Higgins in a second, but I have to make sure my Patriots brethren are hooked up with this hat and t-shirt combo. That is $20 off. You heard that correctly. Chatsports.com slash Pat's combo, $20 off. You get the sweet red Law or short sleeve t-shirt with the nice blue hat. It's usually 50 bones. It's only $30 right now when you go to chatsports.com slash pat now and well, some of that merch, man. He could be now traded just it from the Bengals. I'm get to uh, I'm talking about T. Higgins. Well, let's start with number one. He got franchise tagged by the Bengals. Cincinnati did not pick up his or excuse me, he did not have a fifth-year option available because he was a early second-round pick back in the 2020 NFL draft. So the Bengals didn't have an option to put a fifth-year on him. So he gets tagged and then requests a trade from Cincinnati. <clears throat> and I mean hot. Like he had 900 yards in his first year and then followed up with a couple thousand-yard seasons. Didn't eclipse that thousand-yard mark this year, yeah, but he did year, but deal with a lot of injuries, only mm-hmm. 12 games played in 2023 for Cincinnati, I've, but you see the numbers I on said screen, take him, He came into uh, the league right I'd away out of Clemson, go, uh, was able to T. put up five or more <clears> touchdowns <throat> in every single season because uh, you he know, is a big-body guy uh, you, that can just box bigger, out his opponents in the seat. red zone, make life easier, make himself a bigger target, which would He's very, very run benefit run too, like the new Patriots quarterback, whether it be Jacoby Brissett or a rookie at pick number three. T is a yeah man that'd be crazy man <laughs> if we get either you know either or like just had to see how it turned out but I don't think they gonna trade you for the second round pick and the sixth round pick honestly man if they if we actually they actually do pull it off that'd be nice though 
We just had to see how everything turned out, man. But I'm like, Kendrick Bourne has suffered a lot of injuries, but at the same time, I'm like, if he can stay healthy, man, we should be good. Especially with KJ Osborne being added and uh, Jalen Rager and we getting Hunter Henry back. I don't know. Let's just see if we actually do get T or a Brandon. 